Hello fellow Ghanaians. I'm going to do this quick video to show you how to sell prepaid in Ghana. Before you can start uh, prepaid business, you have to get a desktop computer and then get a printer and a card reader and go to this is a card reader get a card reader after you get all those things then you go to ECG electricity company of Ghana to install everything for you so after installing everything then you have to go to the ECG office to learn how to sell the prepaid but I think we can have a, a short video on YouTube for people to see how it is done then they can uh, save that three days they will spend at the ECG office learning how to sell the prepaid so I decided to do a quick video to show you how it is done so this is the card reader this is the card reader as you can see you can see the card we have to type I think you have different type depending on the region you are located but in Accra here, we have the one with the chip. You see a gold uh, chip in it in the middle with an arrow. With that type, when somebody is buying, you insert it. You insert it into the space here with the, uh, with the, with the one with the arrow. You put it inside. You insert, you insert it inside the card reader. And the one with uh, the one without a chip, if somebody is buying, let's say this is the the card, you just put it on it like this. As you put it on it, then the card can hurt. The reader can detect it. So if somebody is buying, let's say this is the card. If somebody is buying, the person will give you the card. As we say, give you the card. Then. What you have to do first is go to your VPN connection. You can see it. As you can see, it is here. It will show at the, the down here, the bottom, the right down corner here to show here. As you can see, so you click on it. As you click on it, then you go. You see it. ECG, ECG VPN. So you click on it as you click again then you can see they may have four or three so you choose the one that you have to connect so uh, if you want to connect the three you click on it right now it's already connected so you see the as what you see there as what disconnect <clears throat> so if it is not connected this is how it's going to look like so to connect it We'll click on what connect then it's connected so now it is connected the vpn is connected to the ecg server now you have to locate your app the app the app we have different type <coughs> we, we we have different type or the system we have different types so if it is e-cache you will see the app here if it is glue you will see that one also with a name glow we have different different type of the system that would deliver the power to the various regions so in Accra, in Accra here or in we have different different type in the district <coughs> or let me say district or the community so in my area what we have we had a glow and the e cash so you look at your app as you look at your app, you can see the name there to show you cash. So you double click on it. As you double click, you see it like this, then it will disappear. As it disappear, all that you have to do is to wait patiently for it to load up. For it to load up. So now you see it's loading up. It's loading up.
So as it has loaded up, it will come like this. It will come. All that you have to do is to fill it using your username. So your username. So let's put in the username. You make sure you enter the username. All of the username will be hot. <coughs> Will be on your document document provide when doing the registration so let me fill in quickly my own is this month so capital j So that's the username. As you click on the user, you type in the username correctly, then you come to the password here. Come to the password here, it will fill by itself. So you come to the password and click and click. So as you click, see the this man that's the hot <coughs> the vendor's uh, name. <coughs> so you put in your password, you put in your password. So as you put in the password and you can click enter you hit enter <clears throat> so as you hit enter then it's open if it opens now before you have to come here I hope you can see everything you come to the left right side corner here and click on the meter operation meter operation as you click on the meter operation then you go to the top there and click on the selling card you click on selling card as you click on the selling card then it will come like this <clears throat> this is how it's going to appear so now if it appears like this you have to put a card on it you put a <clears throat> you put a card you put a card on the card reader then you come to read card let me show you quick let me show you quick. So you see it here, red card. You see it here, red card. You see it at the down here, red card. So you double click on it as you double click on it then you wait right now i'm not using card so as i'm not using card i can't show you but if you double click on it then you wait patiently it will show do you want to see it will show here do you want to see the meter ready do you want to see the meter ready so you choose no so as you choose no then the cursor will come here for you to put in the value so if it is 100 cds the person is why you put in the 100 cds you put in the 100 cds here then you click <coughs> and enter you click enter so you click enter the cursor will come to the second part confirm you put in the 100 cds again then you triple click the enter then you wait patiently then the receipt will print automatically from the printer here but if the receipt doesn't print, if you see that you have clicked the enter three times and the receipt doesn't come, and you wait for some time, the receipt doesn't come, then you can print the receipt by yourself by going to the going to the report. You can see the report here. Report. You go to the report. As you go to the report, then you come to you come to operator sales report so you click on the operator sales report then it will show like this then you come to you come to get the report so you click on get the report so as you click on the report <coughs> then the amount you sell it will show here all of them that you saw in the day it will show here today i sold only one 
so the one i sold is the one showing here 50 cd so you right click on it you right click on it as you you right click on it then you come to show receipt show receipt so you click on show receipt as you click on the show receipt then you wait it will come like this so as you come you click on ok as you click on the ok then receipt will show like this as it will appear like this the amount the amount you saw will always be at the last so as you click on it then you come to the printer column here the printer is the one showing here so you, you click on the printer so as you click on the printer <coughs> Then uh, I think I can click the right thing. <clears throat> the the printer. So you click on the you click on the printer. So you click on the printer. Should be on the top left corner there. Then it will appear like this. As it appears, you click on print. Now we see. It's printed here. What the customer's details will be on it, as you can see. So, this is how it is done. I hope everything is clear. If you want to go back, if you want to go back, you go to the corner here. You can see going back here close. So, you click on it. As you click on it, then you come to operation again, meter operation. You click on meter operation, you come to selling card. As you can do the selling card, then you can see this place is there. You can sell another one again. If somebody buy, if somebody buy and you didn't come back like this, you have print the receipt manually, and you haven't come back to the selling card and put the uh, the card another card on it and read it will bring you. You want to see the meter reading, and if you sell. The amount will be deducted, the amount will be deducted, but it will not go to the card. The person has to go to ECG office again for everything to be sorted out. So the best way when you sell, you have to go through the process I show you to come back like this before <clears throat> you sell another one. Thank you. Make sure you subscribe to my video so that anytime I post a new one, you can what? See, anytime I post any update, you can watch, watch and know what's going on or how to do it. Thank you very much.